All right, guys, so I only have a few minutes here, but I'm going to give, try to give you as much information I can uh, as quickly as possible as far as using Oracle Cloud free tier to create a bit node, a Bitcoin full node. And if you go to their documentation, you get two VMs with one eighth of a CPU and one gig of memory each. So these are very small machines, but they're always free. And you get 50 gigs per machine if you wanted to. Um, so I've got one machine running right here, 50 gig storage and I'm logged into it over here. So what we're gonna do is install uh, full node, and I've never done this before, but we'll go over to the instructions here, and it looks like we need to grab uh, the Linux TGZ, so I'm gonna right click and uh, copy link address, and then over here we'll wget that. Uh, looks to be a fairly large file, which surprises me a little bit. Let me make this a little bit larger so you can see it. And interesting enough, uh, the bandwidth here is pretty terrible. So um, I'm not sure why that is, but 200K is not good. I think um, with this particular instance, my uh, throughput should be better. So if we go down to um, the attached VNIC, we should see some better throughput there. Let's just take a quick look. Um, this machine Oracle is actually a little bit slow today it seems so metrics on the vnic so ingress uh, packets drop that makes sense but uh, packets outbound uh, this isn't really telling me what the speed should be so Let's go back to instance details and see if it says anything there. But I think this particular one is supposed to have like gigabit NIC, but I'm not sure. It could just be where we're getting this uh, from. We're getting it from Bitcoin.org and it's maybe throttled. That could be the issue. Let's see if we can see here. Network receive. Yeah, not telling us too much. Okay, so we're all set. We've got uh, the GZ downloaded, so I'm going to gun zip the file. It's a fairly large file. Uh, let's see how, how large it really is um, 99 megs. Not too bad. Uh, Tar XBF, um, Bitcoin, and then I'm not sure what we should do from there. So let's follow the documentation. Again, I've never done this before, um, so we'll see what what they say we need to do here. We're not going to verify. We're going to trust. Um, okay, so. I guess we can try running this. Although the version is going to be a little bit different, I think. Okay, so that just installed the binaries in the user local bin, I suppose. We're not going to use the GUI because I don't have a GUI running here. So skip down to core daemon. Steps in this section should be performed as the user you want to run Bitcoin Core. So let's try to run this command and see what we get. First, let's say which Bitcoin D. Interesting. So, yeah, so that's going to fail. Maybe we need to say uh, user local bin. I'm not sure really what that install command did, but let's try it. Okay, core starting, but what the heck is it doing? Bitcoin Cly. Okay, so it's going to be verifying verifying blocks for a long time. So if we say user local bin Bitcoin dash Cly, uh, it's 
Let me see if we can get basically get info maybe. We have zero blocks. So like I said, I've never done this before. I honestly have no idea what it's doing right now, but it's going to be downloading the blocks. I'm doing a full node, not the uh, truncated one. So uh, let's see here. Yeah, I wish I could see what it's doing maybe in bar log. We can take a, take a look at the top. Bitcoin D is running, albeit slowly. So I don't know where it's logging. Let's take a look at uh, bar log. Yeah, no idea, but it's doing something. So I'll come back later and um, do a video showing what I've actually discovered. But once again, just a quick recap here. So all we did was we read the documentation about Oracle, always free, and we decided to use, use one of our free VMs with a 50 gig drive, which is running over here. And uh, running Oracle Linux, we logged into it and we installed Bitcoin and Bitcoin D is running. Thanks for watching. If you have any experience with this, uh, let me know how it went for you. And especially if you're using a free tier, I'd like to know which cloud provider uh, and how that's going for you. Thanks for watching.